season when it comes to sweaters, designers are playing with different silhouettes, textures, and reimagined styles. So here to show us some of her favorites, we welcome back fashion expert Roxanne Karn is with us today. Roxanne, such a pleasure to have you back on. Thanks for joining Hi, Kara. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you so much. And well, yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head with, uh, with us falling back into the season. We want to do it with style, right? <laughs> oh, for sure. And I feel like with sweaters, sometimes you think of sweaters as like, oh, they're the cozy, slouchy, pun them on. But yes. no, you could definitely show style with sweaters. Absolutely. And for example, you know, what I'm seeing emerging right now is a different play on some of our favorites, you know, pieces that we that we know, pieces that we grew up with, but we're seeing them in different ways. So, um, and seeing a resurgence as well. And for example, the sweater that I'm wearing today, it is a, um, a little bit more of a more fitted silhouette. However, it's a little bit dramatic. We've got a nice kind of pronounced shoulder and a balloon sleeve. And that just kind of adds a little pizzazz and punch. Mm -hmm. Kind of coming out of the pandemic, we want to have a little bit of style. We want to have a little bit of fun. And this is an easy silhouette that you can do. We're actually seeing a resurgence of this in retail stores right now. No, because we've all seen those just basic sweaters and pullovers, you know, the mock turtlenecks. But that adds some extra yeah. square, especially with the wrists and everything going on. So cute. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and... Oh, I was just going to say, Kara, that if you wanted to have a more relaxed silhouette, um, you could go for something just like this, which is a, um, this is a cashmere poncho, but it's very lightweight. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot of these more lightweight pieces um, because people want to be warm, but they don't want to be kind of crowded and stuff. And we've got a really nice, clean, asymmetric design. And it just adds some, you know, roominess and comfort. And that's what we're looking for these days. Okay, that looks like the perfect Christmas gift. Because size-wise, you don't have to worry too much. That almost can One be size. worn into spring. Really pretty. Yes, 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 yes. Next, you have a, black, a purple black dolman top. What does dolman mean? So the dolman is basically... Have you ever heard of the term a bat wing top? Oh, yes. This is the, this is the dolman style where we have a little bit of roominess in the bodice area, but then we go to a, um, a skinny and more fitted silhouette on the sleeve. But as you can see here, that bat wing right here, it just allows for more movement. So this is trending heavily as well. Again, you know, coming out of the pandemic, we were used to wearing clothes that were so relaxed at home. But we want to go out and have fun. But we want to be relaxed when we go out and have fun, too. So this is a really great option for those that want comfort. Good stuff. Yeah, I love the sparkle on that. You know, the vests yes. are back. And you have a, a cream vest oh. to show off. You have to show us how to wear these. So this piece, I absolutely love, Kara, because it is your simple, traditional vest. You know, I'm a child of the 80s, so I grew up wearing pieces like this, but it's a little bit different because here we have a dropped shoulder, and it just is not your traditional cut, you know, sweater vest. But what I like about it is that you can style this over a structured shirt. You can put this over a blouse. You can put this over a shirt dress, pop on some boots, and you're ready to go. So again, taking something that we know, um, but just adding a little bit of a twist just from a design and construction standpoint. Okay, I love the hearts. I'm, yes. I love that sweater. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, I love that sweater. Right? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I love it, I love it. Yeah, you I know, love these details. You have this whole segment on how to wear white, and you're keeping with that theme we hear with the white duster sweater, but how to pull that off in the winter. Yeah. Absolutely. So. If you want to do a sweater and you just want something that's going to offer a little bit more coverage, you can do the long sweater vest. And this is a great layering option because you can put this over a turtleneck. Um, again, you can put it over a structured shirt or a maybe a loose fitting blouse. You can put a scarf over this. Pair this with your favorite leggings or jeans. Again, boots make a nice touch, whether you do a knee boot or an ankle boot, but this offers so much versatility. And if you have like a loose, um, a loose fitting belt, you could actually belt the vest as well to create a little bit more of a silhouette. So vests aren't just going to be, you know, the short cropped ones. You can have a nice maxi dress and just look super, super cute. That seems like one of those items Very that nice. you would get and realize that you wear all the time, but you wouldn't 
think that you would, but you just wear it. Exactly. Yeah. But you wear, yeah, you grab for it all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Out of your closet. Okay, I'm super <laughs> curious about this, the open back turtleneck. I've seen these open backs. I'm curious <sighs> what you need to wear in the back or nothing or how that works with these sweaters. Yes, Kara. So I'm so glad you asked me about this because I knew you were going to love this. So I love this top because when you look at it head on, it looks like, you know, kind of easy, traditional, a little business in the front. But the party is certainly in the back <laughs> with this <laughs> with this exposed cutout. And this is um this is one of the themes that I'm seeing this um this season as well, because designers again are taking things that we know, such as the cutout, because prior to this, we were normally used to seeing cutouts maybe in the cold shoulder or split sleeve, but we're seeing the cutouts in different areas of the body. So yeah, having this big kind of keyhole in the back, it's very dramatic. And you were asking Kara about, you know, how, how would you go about wearing this? You know, do you wear a bra? Because this one is so low cut, you would need to wear a bra in the front that maybe is adhesive that doesn't have straps that go around the back. Okay. Those do exist. And they actually even now have bras that are more like tape and you just tape your bust in the right area for lift and support to allow you to wear something just like this. Well, when there's tops like that, you know they provide the undergarments with it for sure. We're almost out of time, and I need to see that yeah. pink jacket because it is so oh. <laughs> cute. Whatever yes. it is, it's a must-have. Yes, so this is an awesome piece because designers are playing a lot with texture. So when it comes to winter, we're used to seeing cashmere, but we're seeing kind of fuzzy materials like this. We're seeing feathering, um, just all sorts of fun textiles. So this is a cropped bubble gum knit jacket. It offers a lot of stretch, super, super cute. And it's just fuzzy. You know, you want to just be in it, pair it with your favorite jeans and like high top sneakers and you're off for the races. I mean, it's just such a great option, especially for those that want to show more, um, more personality through color mm -hmm. and, um, and just having a little bit of fun for the season. Oh, for sure. We need those on those rainy days here in the Northwest. Roxanne, such a great yeah. job. Thank you so much. Great look. Uh, Yes, thanks for having me, Kara. Happy holidays. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And we'll have Thank more you. information about Roxanne on our website at khcu.com.